You know, a lot of people hate the NeuroSoup girl. I think the best reason to hate her is because if you type any drug into YouTube, she appears on the first page. She's horrible, really the worst stereotype of a hippie with some valley girl infused. She'll do things like make an informational video about Kratom where she recites basic information and then admits to never having taken it because it's too addictive. Sounds more like slander than insight. She has an underlining theme that drugs from the earth are better for you than drugs created by man. Fine, but she also pretends to support drugs created by man like LSD and the 2C series by passing it off as organic chemistry, which is commonly acknowledged as a misleading term. She does this to appeal to all types of drug users, which I don't think works. We see her true colors. According to many sites on the internet, this dude named William Pickard had one of the largest LSD labs hidden in a missile silo in the year 2000. He was sentenced to life without parole on November 25th, 2003, with the help of Gordon Todd Skinner, admitted DEA agent and also husband of the NeuroSoup girl, Crystal Ann Cole. Seems there's already a lot of hate for this girl all over the internet. Crystal Ann Cole was only 18 when she met Gordon Todd Skinner, an LSD chemist and DEA informant. And there's a lot of this one. Yeah, that fucking sucks. Phony, hippie, bitch. There's a web page dedicated to freeing William Leonard Picard. On his site, there's links to all the legal information and court documents. But you know where that link for kidnapping, torturing, and drugging a teen goes to? Well, that link leads to Crystal Ann Cole, her husband, and somebody else kidnapping a teen and keeping her captive for six days while they beat her and shot her up with drugs. The couple has a previous history. In 1995, they narked out a large-scale marijuana operation. There's a heavy accusation to trust internet information, so I watched her three videos where she described this incident. Leonard Picard is now serving life in prison for getting busted with the world's largest LSD lab. William Leonard Picard was turned in by his partner, Gordon Todd Skinner. I was subpoenaed to testify by the defense and the prosecution but I went on the stand and I pled my fifth because I thought a lot of things that I had to say could really go against me. <laughs> and so oh, my bad. She pleaded the fifth. The one where you don't have to testify against yourself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's the truth. All those guys were underhanded and ruthless, you know. They'd save their own skin. That was one of the first things that I was trained. Everybody rolls, so therefore, you know, you would lie to everyone about your name, where you're from, your backstory. So this supposed drug enthusiast is telling us that large-scale drug operations are evil because the people involved have to lie a lot. If these people are making large amounts of LSD, it's obvious to anybody that they have to lie a lot. And they obviously should have lied to the NeuroSoup girl. They won't let them roll on everybody else and hopefully they won't get to you. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's, that's what I was taught. And that's why I'm so jaded about, about the drug dealers and, and drug networks. And because I can't stand people being thrown under the bus, you know. Crystal Ann Cole was booked at Tulsa Jail for kidnapping charges after she was the first one to report herself to the police. After she was the first to surrender this evidence, Gordon Todd Skinner, her husband, was charged with kidnapping, conspiracy, as well as assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. A few months later, her testimony helped get William Leonard Bacard two concurrent life sentences without parole. Even though police records say our NeuroSoup girl helped ensnare the teen, the only police records I can find is that she went to Tulsa jail for an undisclosed amount of time. For kidnapping. I can't stand people being thrown under the bus, you know? That's a pretty convenient change of morals. <laughs> anyway. That laugh just scares me, knowing she's this poor guy's devil. Be sure to tell her what you think of this situation. Someone who pretends to support all the drugs that you like it, but then behind closed doors cuts off this large amount of LSD. Are we gonna get our LSD today? <laughs> Not really something to be giggling about. And I don't think she pulls it off in a likable way. If you look at the comments, people hate her. And she, just like any of those icons that always get hate mail, it's got to sink into her soul sooner or later, and that's what we want, because she's not a good person. We also are at fault, each and every one of us, that goes out and buys an illegal drug off the street. Because 
When we do that, when we go purchase that drug, we are supporting the commercialistic backbone of the illegal drug industry. Hmm. Disguising a boycott with an anti-capitalist message. Doesn't it seem fishy the only time she pins evils to money exchange is in the drug world? Buying drugs will fund something evil. Well, that sounds familiar. People are not going to give you drugs for free. Say no to drugs and say yes to free, legal entheogens. Even if you were all about natural drugs, what she proposes doesn't make sense. A free legal ethogen. Break out the San Pedro. Let's hear it for nature. Yeah! We can grow the entheogens ourselves. You can go buy the seeds and grow them and take them. And that eliminates money from the picture. That policy doesn't make any sense. Did you hear her say if you go buy the seeds that eliminates money from the picture? Alright, first of all, it still involves the exchange of money. Secondly, she doesn't acknowledge that not everybody wants to grow these plants or naturally synthesize LSD, which is impossible. That's going on her logic. Third, it still involves people going to jail since these substances are still illegal. And fourth, it leads to less drugs for you and me. LSD, I believe, is a beautiful, beautiful substance. But at the same time, if you're getting it in a way that is supporting all of these negative outcomes like people going to prison and supporting the bad political view on us spiritual people. Don't use LSD if it can lead to people going to prison. That's our problem. We're using LSD at the rare part of the globe where it's illegal. We shouldn't purchase entheogens that are illegal. And if you get them for free, great. Trying to get this in your head. Being a drug dealer or a drug user that's buying drugs like that is not being a spiritual person. The negative energy that's going out into the world by just purchasing that drug is no good and it reflects upon us as a spiritual community in a really negative way. This video speaks for everything she's trying to do over the internet. She claims it'll improve the image of this type of drug user if we don't buy them. Yeah, her spirituality card's wearing pretty thin there. She also claims it'll improve our image if we express ourselves as more spiritual people. You know the street drug user who uses drugs in secret? Yeah, that's gotta stop. We gotta start expressing ourselves as spiritual people, cause that's worked so well in the past. It's no doubt the negative image of a hippie and their offensive claim to higher spirituality that contributed to the average person turning against drugs like LSD. But no matter what the NeuroSoup girl has decided spirituality is, it's an attempt to set restrictive guidelines, which will no doubt exclude many personality types. Well, the average American You'll have a spiritual experience if you do a psychedelic. They're really not going to like you. People aren't going to have any interest or sympathy in a drug if they think it turns you into people like that. The one with nature potentioids so eager to claim higher spirituality over the average person is offensive to the average person. And it's the last thing that'll ever help these drugs become legal. Even if you don't believe she's faking this personality to continue the bad image drugs have, Rituals of the past aren't so holy that people who want to eat mushrooms on their couch can be undermined by people like the Neuro Soup Girl. Before I begin to talk about the electronic cigarette, I would like to clarify that I think cigarette smoking is disgusting and I don't personally smoke cigarettes. Strangely unsupportive words from a naturalist. I don't want YouTube fame because my videos would get pulled if I had it. I don't want you to subscribe to my channel, but I do think this information should circulate. Nobody should watch the Neuro Soup Girl without knowing what she's trying to do on the internet. People do know. I've seen comments damning her to hell, but it's important to tell her why. So if you see her on the street, tell her where her soul's gonna lay till the end of time.